Saturn-Pluto conjunctions manifest as government secret control systems, sinister plans and covert operations. By Plutocratic powers, this project covers the last three conjunctions. The Nuremberg Code was drafted on the 9th of August 1947, with a tight conjunction in Leo. During the Nuremberg trials, these were to enforce by law human rights so that the Nazi war crimes of what happened during World War II would not be repeated. Not all the Nazis were put to justice. Many were recruited under the Operation Paperclip, which was finalised that year, to work for the United States government's aeronautic programmes, among other things. Because of the advancements in Nazi technology, which borderlines on science fiction, the CIA was founded on the 18th of September. The increase of UFO activity within the mainstream news in the United States began to increase from that summer onwards, most notably the Roswell incident that occurred, starting a history of abductions and stories of contactees. 1947 was also a significant year where Nazi war criminals escaped to South America with help from the Vatican in what is called the Rat Line. In 1982, the conjunction in Libra, the Falkland Wars occurred. It was a war where the British reclaimed sovereignty over the islands from Argentinian control, known as Operation Corporate, from the 2nd of April to the 14th of June. The main focus being on what is known as Operation Keyhole on Fuel Island near New Swabia, the Nazi colony in Antarctica where it is speculated that Nazis made bases in the subglacial lakes. The operation on Thule Island that started on the 19th of June and lasted two days, involving the belligerents of nine Argentinian military personnel occupying a scientific research centre called the Carbeta Uruguay. The British sent a force of a frigate, an icebreaker, a fleet tanker, six helicopters, and two rifle troop units. The Argentinians surrendered, and the British raised the Union Jack and left. Later that year, it was reported that the Argentinians lowered the flag and replaced it with their own. In response, the British returned in February 1983 to demolish the base. The photos of the explosion show a lot of earth which was thrown into the air as if it was detonated underground. During the Falkland War, UFO sightings were documented, allowing more speculation to the nature of the Falkland War. On the 1st of September 1982, Air Force Space Command was founded. On the 23rd of March 1983, Ronald Reagan announced the Strategic Defence Initiative Missile Defence System, also known as Star Wars Project. Within this time period in the early 80s was when the emergence of AIDS, HIV, came about. The discovery of the human immune deficiency was made by a team of biologists in the winter of 82. Most notably, Francois Barre Sinoussi, born on the 30th of July 1947, and later won a Nobel Prize for the discovery of the retrovirus, consisting of RNA that can be incorporated into the host cell's DNA, became public on the 20th of May 1983, published in the Science magazine. A few months later, the Stasi of East Germany started Operation Infection, claiming HIV was manufactured in the US as a bioweapon in July of 83. The conjunction of recent times became exact in January 2019. Just prior to that, the United States Space Force superseded from the Air Force Space Command on the 20th of December 2019. The Starlink project launched its satellites on May 2019 and is ongoing operation for global internet connection, among other things. SpaceX plans to sell off the satellites for military, scientific, exploratory purposes. When the exact conjunction approached, China had an outbreak of what later was known as COVID-19, officially named a month later by the World Health Organization. Nearly a year later, on the 8th of December 2020, the experimental treatment 
which breaks Nuremberg codes 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9 and 10. Around the time of the rollout, former Israeli space security chief claims of extraterrestrial contact has been made in the past. This hype was pushed by mainstream media news. This coincides with the Trump's administration's Operation Warp Speed. Eshed's claims of contact with the Galactic Federation, which is personified by a blonde-haired Aryan man. Other media hype of ETs comes from Avi Loeb from Harvard University, claiming the Oumuamua space object to be an extraterrestrial probe. This mainstream attention may be an attempt to prepare the public for contact. I speculate it to coincide with the up-and-coming Pluto trine Uranus sextile Neptune aspect of 2024.